Hi, I'm Bill Alderson. Hey, we're going to talk a little bit today about the essential building blocks of good application performance. Okay? So this is the fifth in this, this little series, and I'm going to talk now about application development optimization. Now, what that means is, is that some organizations spend, let's say, I mean, they're going to roll out a major new application that really, uh, you know, captures uh, and changes their whole process uh, for um, their mission. Uh, you know, the Department of Motor Vehicles for a whole state or, you know, an entirely new um, ERP system or a finance system or what have you. We're talking, you know, major implication applications. And uh, so what they do is they start out with a big pot of money and you got business development people who are helping drive requirements and then your your technology people are picking platforms and databases and middleware and you know uh, various you know elements of architecture whether you're going to use Java or ActiveX or .NET or what have you and you're looking at all these various things and you've got a certain uh, amount of constraints that you're trying to um, you know, work within with your application. So you've got, you know, this this big pot of money. You know, let's just say twenty million dollars that you're going to spend on a large scale application um, development or redevelopment. And so what happens is it's a it's a several year process. And so you know you start here and you know you start picking a few things and you pick a few more things and now you got some hardware to work with and you got uh, your test lab and your development environment and that sort of thing. You're starting to write a little bit of code and put things together and then you get kind of a build and you know but out here you start working with SOAs and and various um, you know cloud or uh, dissimilar systems or gathering data from other people's databases or what have you and you know and then so it, it takes all this time you know to build this application and then out here you launch the application and then you know you end up with um, an application that let's say you know takes uh, 35 seconds uh, and it's supposed to take five well what do you do where do you start when should you have started? Well, you should have started back here for two reasons. One, if you start embedding your, um, your, your application analysis early in the cycle, you can make better decisions uh, as you go. Uh, you can find out you know, what works and what doesn't work. You can give your programmers and your platform people, your virtual system people, your database folks, and you can give everybody really good feedback if you embed analysis early in the game. Now along with that you can do some what I call micro, uh, 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 micro analysis but also you can embed, uh, go to your you know, performance management vendor or uh, network management vendor and, you know, that sort of thing, all those various tool vendors, and then start testing. Do you need an embedded agent inside your servers in order to help you manage processes within those servers? This is the time during this large system rollout to embed these sort of resources into the application because it's not just about buying the hardware and having the bandwidth and that sort of thing, it's really a holistic approach. It's where are you going to locate your data center? Where are you going to locate your databases? Are they going to be um, out in the cloud? Where are they going to be? And so you want to start making those decisions and you need some micro analysis, right? But at the same time, you want to start looking at various solutions to embed your macro analysis, okay? So what is that? Your macro analysis is, you know, the big picture of, you know, what your response time is going to be, your simulation and that sort of thing. And then you can start working very early to find and then make decisions so that, you know, you hit your five minute, five second at at the end instead of a 35 second and you're not in trouble and you have to you know basically go back and redo all this work because although we can come in and, and maybe optimize this down to here right 
and do some of that and get some, you know, recoup some of that. And a lot of times we go in and we, we, we analyze these sort of things and we're able to, to, to get down and optimize uh, some. But you can't go back and redevelop and make new decisions about data center locations, platforms, environments, middleware, software, and all that sort of thing. You can't go back and redo that after you've rolled it all out. So basically what I call this is application development optimization and if you take your micro analysis it gives you good decision points if you do some macro analysis what happens is when you're ready to roll out about here you take a look at and you start rolling out a new uh, performance management system about here that is designed to find the dependencies and the bottlenecks and uh, and the performance of this particular application uh, before it rolls out and you get that intimate experience from doing the micro analysis so you know exactly how to basically have a system that once deployed watches all your dependencies it watches all of your performance and as your system grows with the number of users you can find out how it's scaling and how performance uh, it continues to uh, be level with additional users or it goes up so that's a scalability issue uh, and you can start analyzing all of those things at the appropriate times I get calls from people after they've rolled it all out and they've spent their 20 million dollars and now they're standing and you know hoping and praying on the sidelines that things go well and uh, only to find that their applications sometimes are not met with, uh, uh, you know, great desire by their end users. And we all want to serve our end users and make certain that they're productive in their mission. So that's what all of this is about, the building blocks of performance management. Uh, a few tidbits of uh, some of the things that I've learned in, over my career. I appreciate you tuning in. I'm Bill Alderson, and make sure you perform some application development optimization.